Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. This is a short review for this King Bao K3B backlit gaming keyboard. So let's go to the specs. First of all, this is not a mechanical keyboard, but this is just a membrane LED gaming keyboard. So uh, next is this is one of the reasons kung bakit gusto ko tong keyboard na to is it has non-fading double shot keycaps which means na over time na ginagamit mo yung keyboard is hindi siya nabubura. Next is it has a silver metal top base. So itong part na to is hindi siya plastic. Metal siya. So uh, it means that this is durable and uh, also it looks good at the same time. Next is it has high suspension type keycaps meaning na mataas yung height ng keycaps niya. So ipapakita ko sa inyo. Ito yung uh, view I hope na makita niyo sa video. So as you can see na hindi siya kagaya ng mga ordinary yung keyboard like the A4 Tech and Genius na nasa baba lang yung keycaps. So dahil sa design na to, kaya water splash proof at saka dust proof na rin siya. So uh, in short, madali lang siyang linisin. Uh, yung mga alikabok is uh, parang hindi uubra sa kanya. Next is it has 19 keys anti-ghosting combo and uh, it only means na kahit 19 keys yung pagsabayin mong pindutin is hindi siya mag error So uh, as we all know or kung hindi nyo pa na-observe like dati nung ginagamit ko pa yung A4 Tech na standard keyboard or Genius standard keyboard so I think for uh, four keys na pagsabayin mong pindutin is tutunog na yung error na hindi na nababasa ng keyboard kasi nga uh, wala siyang anti-ghosting feature so ang kagandahan nito is meron siyang anti-ghosting combo keys which is very good and uh, hindi lang 4, hindi lang 5, hindi lang 10 kundi up to 19 keys Next is, it has multimedia shortcut keys through FN. So, makikita nyo dito sa itaas na ito yung uh, mga multimedia keys niya. So, uh, it's all about music, uh, the volume down, volume up. Tsaka, ito. Nandito lahat sa function keys niya. Merong stop, merong next, pause, etc. Next is, meron din siyang win key lock. So, uh, this is for gamers. So, uh, for example, naglalaro ka ng isang game like Dota 2. Tapos, accidentally napindot mo yung Windows key. So, of course, um, either mapupunta siya sa desktop or makikita mo yung... Uh, taskbar sa iba ba, which is uh, somehow annoying para sa mga gamers so basically this win key lock feature is specifically made para sa mga gamers, so for example pag naka-activate na yung win key lock mo by just pressing FN plus the windows key, bali dito FN tapos windows key so ma-enable mo na yung win key lock, so when you're gaming, kahit na pindutin mo yung Windows key dito hindi na siya mag alta next is meron din siyang feature na kaya niyang iswap yung function ng WASD yung mga keys dito tsaka yung navigation keys dito sa arrow bali isaswap niya yung dalawa by just pressing the FN plus W or the FN plus uh, this one here uh, this one the six okay so for the dimensions 
for the width we have 14 centimeter the length is 44.8 centimeter and then the height is 3.5 centimeter and then yung length or yung haba ng cable niya is 145 centimeter so mapunta naman tayo sa controls so yung una is kung paano nyo i on and off yung LED backlit or yung LED backlight so ito yung uh, ito yung button na ipipress nyo para ma on off yung backlight nya so ito yung button na nasa gitna ng FN tsaka yung control mali press mo lang sya off and then press mo ulit on next is para sa mga nagtatanong kung may color mode ba ito or color mode option wherein kaya mong palitan ng mga lights or mag-iiba yung mga lights ng keyboard so unfortunately wala po siyang ganun bali ito lang talaga yung yung lights na makikita mo or yung pattern niya is ganito lang talaga so next thing is meron itong 3 levels of brightness bale ito yung pinaka highest setting or ito yung pinaka maliwanag na setting sa brightness nya so para yung controls don is uh, pressing FN tsaka page up or page down bale pag page up FN plus page up yun yung pataas ng ilaw or pataas ng liwanag nya since nandito tayo sa pinakamaliwanag is uh, of course wala nang nangyayari so ito yung level 3 bali yung pinakamaliwanag na setting tapos FN page down yan yung uh, level 2 na brightness tsaka page down ulit FN page down yan yung level 1 tapos pag nag FN page down ka ulit mag off yung LED lights nya so page up ulit FN page up para bumalik yung LED lights so next is meron din siyang breathing mode or breathing effect so para ma enable yon is press FN and then this this key uh, the on and off switch for the LED backlight so FN tapos dito yan mag activate na yung breathing effect nya and then pag uh, ayaw mo na ng breathing effect gusto mo ng steady ulit same pa rin press FN and then the same key after that magbabalik siya sa steady na lights At saka, before ko makalimutan, meron din pala itong rubber feet dito. Tapos, meron din siyang adjuster dito sa itaas. Uh, yun bang matataas mo yung height ng keyboard dito sa upper portion. Uh, just for the purpose of better typing or more comfortable typing. Okay, so for the typing test, or the sound test para dun sa mga nagtatanong kung ano ba yung tunog niya tunog mechanical ba or tunog membrane so ito na yun uh, let's start Okay. 
okay guys so i think that should be all don't forget to share this to your friends lalo na dun sa mga friends mo na hindi ganong malaki yung budget tsaka gustong bumili ng magandang keyboard okay so uh, be sure na sabihin mo sa kanila na non-fading double shot keycaps to hindi nabubura tapos uh, ang kagandahan is uh, ito talaga yung silver metal top base uh, premium talaga siya tingnan hindi siya cheap tingnan uh, unlike the others of course and then dust proof very good feature water splash proof and then also the 19 keys anti-ghosting feature okay so um i think uh, that would be all guys hindi na ako magtatagal thank you very much for your time para dun sa mga tinapos talaga yung video na to maraming maraming salamat po at saka don't forget to like the video if, uh, if you like it and then if you think it needs improvement uh, which of course so uh, be sure to uh, leave down the comments below so that i will be able to know how can i improve my video in the future so once again guys, thank you and thank you and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.